In forensic entomology, we use the HINSA to estimate the post-mortem interval, is the time since death, because uh, the HINSA develop uh, in, in function of the temp temperature. And so if we know the temperature of the environment in which the body is, uh, and we know the age of the HINSA, we can state uh, when it start to grow up, when the first fly laid eggs. And so doing, we can really estimate uh, this period that is impossible to estimate by the forensic pathologists, for example, because the forensic pathologists, they can work only for three, four days after the death. After this period, they don't have any information, they don't have any tools to estimate this period. And only the hindsight can help the investigator to answer the question when a crime happened, when an homicide happened. In the last year, for example, I was involved in a lot of cases uh, in Italy, cases of homicide, murder, and from to young people to old people, mafia cases and normal crime cases. And uh, I work in the last year, for example, in 19 different cases. And in the majority of this one, uh, the most important question was when the murder happened. Only in few cases, in so-called old or cold cases, it was important to establish the season of the death because it could help the investigator in finding, in reducing the list of the missing people and try to identify a body. But, for example, uh, I work in very interesting cases, for sure from a, a scientific point of view they are very interesting, because one or two species can really be the clue of uh, the the estimation of the time since that. Very, very particular species active only in a particular period of the year or with a particular development. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.